Hi, welcome to a five minute Friday. Today I'm going to be talking about something that I have in my garage that a lot of people don't, and that is a computer. So the what is it is simple, it's a computer. Um, I have a Mac mini that's back here on the wall. You can see it mounted here in this wall mount. Um, it's just a human centric mount, it's like a $20 mount from Amazon. Um, I happen to be using a Mac mini, but you could use a mini Windows PC as well. Lenovo, HP, Dell, a lot of other manufacturers. Uh, Intel makes something called a Nook of this size. <clears throat> this is a 24 inch monitor on an arm. The arm is a North Bayou, again, about $20 from Amazon. The monitor is a BenQ, $140 from Amazon. Um, so all in, this is brand new, probably $1,000, $1,200 worth of computer setup, but you could very easily make something like this happen in your own garage for $500 or less. And I'll put some links in the description to things that would be around that budget and that price point, especially if you're okay with a Windows computer. So why would you want a computer in your garage? Well, I find it incredibly useful. Um, so I use it for um, shopping for parts a lot of times. So I'll be lurking on a car, I'll taking something apart, I'll find something that's broken, be looking at part numbers, Googling, trying to find those things, searching on eBay, searching on parts sites, Rock Auto, things like that. Um, I use it for controlling media. I'll often watch YouTube on this computer and I'll have it just play through my speakers that are sitting next to it. Um, I will often use it for controlling Spotify. I have a, um, a Blue Sound node sitting down here that's part of my audio system inside my garage. I'll do a separate video on that. But I use this to control Spotify all the time. Very easy, it's nice, simple, works very well. Uh, you can use it for a variety of other things. Maybe you're researching how to fix something on your car. Um, maybe like me, you're recording a YouTube video and you can edit on it, you can upload from it. Um, it's just a really convenient thing to have in a garage. There are a couple different ways that you can make this happen. You can use a mini PC mounted on the wall like I did. Um, you could buy an all-in-one computer where the computer is built into a display and you could just have that mounted on a bracket on the wall like I do with this monitor. You can have a real desktop computer, which is going to take up more space, but maybe you can tuck it up on, on top of one of your cabinets or something along those lines. There's not much of a demo to give on a computer. It's a pretty simple thing. Everybody kind of knows how they work. Everybody's used to using them. The most common things I use it for, like I said, are watching YouTube, shopping for parts, researching how to do something, or um, listening to music. Personally, what I end up doing, I have a Mac Mini in my office that I use to work on all day, every single day. Every time I buy a new computer for my office, I take my old office computer, I move it out to the garage, and I take the computer that's in the garage and I sell that on eBay as a used product. So the computer in my garage is usually somewhere around two years old. The computer that's in my office is less than that, uh, you know, usually less than a year old. Um, so I will generally, every year a new Mac mini comes out, I buy the new Mac mini, I transfer down the old Mac mini, and then I sell off the one that's in my garage. So check out the description to a couple of products that are on Amazon that you can get that would be a mini PC similar to this. I'll help you build a setup and get you going. One thing to note is if you don't have good Wi-Fi signal inside your garage, that is going to negatively impact this. So if you have a cell phone or you have an iPad and you're having difficulty getting Wi-Fi signal in your garage, that might be something that you have to deal with. For me, I have a wireless access point in my garage. I also have uh, network cables running through my house and I happen to have this computer wired. Um, but that is something that you will have to deal with or know about in order to do this. So thank you for watching and I hope that you're having a great day.